Your website lists acidic and alkaline foods. I thought that was interesting. It's surprising that a number of foods that people normally consider healthy are actually acidic. Let's start with fruit. I mean, I think a lot of people well, know that citric fruit. The citrus. citric foods have an acid called citric citrus. acid. Yep. Okay, citric acid burns and destroys the intestinal villi and sets the stage for acidosis, which is the only cause of all sickness and disease. And I said this over 30 years ago. There's only one sickness and one disease, and that's the oversidification of the blood and tissues due to an inverted way of living, eating, and thinking that these diagnoses, these symptoms, are the expression of our internal environment. And the environment is what's important here, mm. uh, not necessarily the glands or organs. So when we're talking about citrus fruits like oranges, they're highly acidic, except for, because of their high sugar, too, as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just citric acid, it's also fructose. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen research on this. You can Google it. Google fruit sugars. We already know that fruit sugar is a neurotoxin to the brain. Fructose. High fructose corn syrup causes neurological problems. Mm -hmm. If you eat a lot of sugar, you're going to have brain problems. The reason why is because your primary brain is not in your head. Everybody thinks they're thinking with their head, but you're actually thinking with your core. You have more brain cells in your gut than you do in your head. And so when your head's not thinking, it's because you're constipated the brain. And this is why I've made the suggestion that when we have dementia, when we have autism, when we have type 1 diabetes, when we clear the congestion and the acidity in the gut and heal the intestinal villi, which is the root system of the body, this is when autism reverses. This is when attention deficit and hyperactivity reverses. This is when dementia reverses. This is when we prevent Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. You see, you've got to take care of the primary brain. And you cannot do that if you're eating beef, chicken, pork, or fish, or dairy products, or even grains, or high sugar fruits. The sugars and fruits will destroy the gut. So you have to go to low sugar fruits like lemons and limes. Yes, mm -hmm. there's greater concentration of potassium bicarbonate in the lemon and lime that will offset the citric acids or sugars therefore making lemons and limes alkaline. Not because of mm. how they digest inside the body, because they are naturally alkaline. You see, there is a difference. We test the whole fruit. I don't test it after digestion, because if you test it after digestion, all you're getting is the ash. And mm. the ash does not consider all the evaporation and, and the heat that they use, which is anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 uh, Fahrenheit, to burn off whatever the alcohol we know, you know cooks when they use wine, mm -hmm. well, what happens to the alcohol? That's it burns off. off. So all of these charts that are being put out there on pH are all wrong. They're all fallacious. And the reason they're fallacious is because they're measuring the ash, which is just the alkaline minerals and the acid minerals, where you've burned off the citric acid, you've burned off the ethanol alcohol, you've burned off the fructose. It's gone, mm. and it's not being measured. This is why my chart is the only true pH chart that now exists, because it's the only chart that's actually considering the whole food, mm. not just the ash of that food. Mm.